folded wings. I first thought they were crippled, but then found out due to the lack of space in the pupae, the wings get inflated after the fly emerges. Yeah, Today's mission, compost drawers maintenance. The drilling holes in the bottom of each compost drawer clog with soil, which causes flooding. Find a way to improve on this issue. Tip, larger holes will let lava escape. Okay, let's see. Last time we played as goldfish in a relaxing one hour underwater aquarium mission. For this mission we need some hands again. So let's change the character to someone human. Let's go with Conrad. Let's find a tool for today's mission. Something to increase the number of holes at the bottom of the compost drawer, but prevents larvae from crawling through. I think we should try this stainless steel mesh. Let's go! The composter module consists of three drawers, which are modified euro boxes and hold the compost. The composter model is part of the water cycle of the aquaponic system and drilled holes in the bottom of each drawer allow water to flow into the drawers below. The drilling holes also allow larvae to squeeze through and crawl along the base of the drawer wandering into the lower level. The generated soil clogs the drilling holes and creates standing water in the drawer which smells horribly and floods the entire drawer. To solve this issue, we will try to increase the hole size of the water drain and install a mesh to prevent larvae from running into the lower drawer. I quickly vacuum off some of the spider webs and clean the edges. I will not vacuum the compost, obviously. There are still larvae and worms in the soil which need to stay in the system, so we keep this compost instead of throwing it out. We can work on the transfer now and shovel the soil into the grey box. The mesh will lay on the floor from the inside, so the area it covers can be cut off. The hole size of the mesh is much smaller and I use the mesh as guide to mark the area it will cover. For support and to ease the tension of the seam where the mesh is attached to the box, I will leave a cross in the middle of the box. This will also prevent the box from collapsing from the weight of the compost. The shape we need to cut out looks a bit like a window and you can see there's enough space for the mesh to rest on. Let's drill some larger holes, one, two, three, for the jigsaw to enter. And back to the cutting. I was emailing with a waste specialist about hauling compost worms and black soldier fly larvae together in one bin, and she did not recommend to do so, since the larvae will outcompete the worms due to their fast consumption rate and won't leave any food for the worms. If the larvae and worms stay in their respective drawers, this will not be an issue. The worms like the harder material, like apple or tomato peels, which the larvae can't gnaw through. The edges are a bit rough, but can be smoothened with a cutter. There will probably be some plastic debris from the cut, which will contaminate the system, but this will reduce the amount. This will do. We can now work on the inside and attach the mesh. I was thinking about different ways to do this and I decided to try to melt the mesh into the plastic of the box with a plastic welding iron. This tool has a metal rod which heats up to about 420 degrees Celsius which can melt the polypropylene plastic. I would like to melt the plastic that it squeezes through the mesh and when it cools holds the mesh in place. This works pretty well if I apply a bit of pressure and wiggle the iron a bit. It is also a slow process and takes some patience. It is important to glue the mesh properly in place so that the support is strong and no lava can squeeze through the edges. It always amazes me where they are able to escape through. Life always finds a way which is genius of course, but honestly in this case a bit annoying. After one pass the mesh is in place and the connection is very sturdy. Even if I apply some pressure it bends the mesh but it does not loosen it. The mesh does not cover all the drilling holes, so there are about three rows of holes which can just be welded shut with surrounding plastic. Two rows on this side and one on the other. That's it. Let's test if it still fits in the housing and can be slid in easily. It is interesting that it's see-through now. 
Uh, of course, this will change once it's filled. I like the raised edges. Previously, the water was running along the base of the drawer until it ripped off. Now it's a proper edge where this happens and it's far enough away from the outer edges so the water won't come into contact with the wood of the housing of the composter. With this drawer finished, the grey box where we put in the soil earlier can be emptied out again. Still lots of food for the worms. There's even a warm egg or cocon which contains the next generation of red wigglers. There are plenty of those eggs in the soil. Okay, this box is finished and filled and can go back into the housing. One box done, two more to go. Same procedure as previously. Marking the cutout with a marker, cutting the section with some margin on the edges and cleaning off the edges with a cutter. Then. Lastly, putting the mesh inside and welding it in place. Emptying out the upper drawer with lots of pupae still in the soil into the middle drawer now. The water creates moisture and soaks the compost material, making it easier to consume by the worms and larvae. The therefore wet compost prevents black soldier fly larvae from turning into pupae in the compost drawer because they prefer a dry place to turn into flies, so the larvae crawl off as they are supposed to do. You can see the rams are destroyed in this level. They need to be replaced later. Ui! What's this? A fly which just hatched from its pupae. I have never seen this before. I always wanted to film this, but it's very hard to time. I will try to do a clip with a bunch of pupae at some point. It is quite interesting that the emerged flies have folded wings. I first thought they were crippled, but then found out due to the lack of space in the pupae, the wings get inflated after the fly emerges. It will probably be able to fly in a couple of hours. Let's put this black soldier fly into the fly cage. Open the door and in you go. Go! Nice. Let's remove the destroyed ramp and start the same procedure another time. Marking the cutout, using the jigsaw and welding the mesh. Since the ramps need to be replaced and the new ones will be attached with hot glue, let's clean the walls of the box with a wet sponge. It does not have to be perfect, just so that the glue sticks to the plastic and not the dirt. And wipe it dry with some paper towel. The ramps are made from the advertisement panels of a local political party, which I mentioned in an earlier episode and I got from them after the campaign was over. One, two, three, four, five, six channels, which is the same width as the previous ramp. The new ramp will go here and glued in place with hot glue. You can see there are some gaps between the wall and the ramp since the wall of the box is not completely straight but bent slightly. I just fill in the holes with more hot glue. It is very nice construction material because it's lightweight and sturdy. It is also white which is a plus. The ramps lead into this balcony which directs the larvae to the pipe which leads into the staircase section. There is also a guide here which helps directing the larvae to the exit, otherwise they sometimes crawl along the edge and miss the pipe. This is also why the ramps need some guide rails, otherwise the larvae never make it to the top and fall off the side back into the compost. I put in some dirt from the grey drawer which contains some pupae just in case they still hatch and back into the composter model it goes. You can see here some water dropping from the mesh into the lowest drawer, which collects the liquid. You can see the drain of this drawer on the top right. We will discuss this drawer more in the next episode and this concludes today's mission. Subscribe for the next episode and leave some feedback in the comments below. You could also check out this video. Or if it's your birthday, maybe this one. Yeah, die.